Hi Virgo, welcome to your general reading for the first half of August. My name is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome so much. And if you're returning, thank you for coming back. Thank you, thank you. Um, before we get started here for your general reading for the first half of August, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much to those who have blessed me with a donation to the channel in exchange of energy. Um, is greatly, greatly appreciated. So thank you. And those have reached out for personal readings. Thank you. Thank you so much. This really means a lot to me. I couldn't do it without you guys. I wouldn't be doing this at all. And I truly love to do this for you guys. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And um, if you're new, please do check the description box below. Any and all information that you need is there. So please do go check that out. Be greatly appreciated. Decks I'm using, personal readings, uh, links, all kind of information there so please do go check that out and thank you so much okay so for virgo first half of august general reading all right i hope everybody's doing well august already can you believe we're in august already where's time going i just don't know we are in leo season right now and after leo comes virgo all right, so Virgo, what do we have for you guys? This is a Zodiac Oracle, so we'll see what kind of energy could be around you the first half of August. It could be a sign, element, or planet energy, and whatever comes out here, if you don't resonate with com whatever comes out here, that's totally fine. It's just sort of like a little extra bonus, especially if a sign comes out and you don't relate to the sign, that is totally fine. The rest of the reading may be for you. All right, for Virgo, 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 first half of August. What do we have for Virgo? What's going on with Virgo? Spirit, please, one card. What kind of energy is around them? Saturn energy. Saturn, and that is Capricorn energy, but it doesn't have to be. So Saturn is about ambition, goals, security, lessons, and challenges. So it's all about that drive, that ambition, going after what you want, um, your, like sort of like your purpose, what is your purpose, um, and you know, learning less, going through lessons, learning lessons, having those challenges. So, and then you have 19, which equals 10, which is about endings, but then after 10 always comes one, which is a new beginning. So we'll see. So you can have Capricorn in your chart. Maybe it's your moon sign um, or your rising sign or something like that. So I don't know. We'll see. Or you could have a Capricorn around you. If not, that's totally fine. Could just be the energy of the Saturn planet right now. I'm not an astrologist, so I don't know about the retrogrades and all that kind of stuff. But I do like this deck because sometimes a sign will come out that totally resonates for some people. Or an energy, you know, like the earth energy, like an element energy or a planet energy. That's why I like to use the deck. It gives people a little extra clarity. All right. So, let's see. And this, like, it looks like a disc right here in the background. Reminds me of, like, cycles, going through cycles and changes. And that, you know, can go with challenges and lessons. So I don't know, let's see what's going on with Virgo, the first half of August. Let's see, let's get your main message here, see what's going on for Virgo spirit, please. The first half of August, what does Virgo need to know? What's going on with Virgo? One card for Virgo, please, spirit. Balancing Act, which is number 11. So you may be juggling a lot of things around right now. Uh, 11 and then that equals two. And two reminds me, this reminds me of the two of pentacles of having a lot on your plate right now, trying to balance out work, family, life, uh, money, career. I mean, anything, just balancing way too much of trying to get it all balanced. Like you feel like you're walking a tight rope and you never know if you're gonna fall off or if you're gonna make it across, you know? So. And two can be about decisions also. So you may be needing to make some decisions here 
about uh, balancing some things out in your life. And with the one and nine, ten, you may need to end some cycles, some things that are no longer serving you so you can get better balance of your life and what's going on for you. Maybe a challenge to do that, as with the Saturn energy, but uh, maybe necessary. So I don't know, we'll see. That could be just a message for some people. So let's see, uh, is it like kind of rocky. You see that ship there, kind of cloudy. It's kind of rocky. Waters, you know, is it going to sink? Is it going to balance out? Are we going to make it across? And see some things falling away there. You know, definitely letting things fall away that are no longer serving you. They may be holding on to it, but you're just maybe balancing too much right now. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. 13, Solitude. So 13, solitude. So one and three is four. So that's about stability. So I really feel like solitude is spending some time alone, uh, going and retreating. Um, kind of reminds me of the Four of Swords energy of just needing to spend some time alone, really think, contemplate, go within, and really decide here what you really need to do to bring better balance into your life. You may need to even get away, go on vacation, Maybe even go, you know, by the water to a lake, to a river or something. Spend some time alone here. So, and with rescue underneath, it's like, and there again, it's like an island floating in the middle of nowhere. You're waiting like for someone to come in and rescue you, to help you. Uh, in Because maybe you're alone right now and you have a lot on your plate. And you're, you know, wish you had somebody to help you, to come in and rescue you, to help you balance out your life. Or maybe you need to ask for help. You know, maybe you're alone, but you're afraid to ask for help. And you may have people watching you saying, you know, you know, how are they even doing this on their own? And maybe they want to help, but you're afraid to ask. Because you have one and six or seven here, and seven can be about, you know, self-deceit, ego, um, like just on your own and waiting things out, um, being defensive, confused. So that could be a message for some people. So let's see what's going on for Virgo. Virgo. All right. And I had did, did see, well, I said that was like the Four of Swords, but also could be like the Four of Pentacles of kind of just trying to hold on to your stability you know, if you're alone. All right, so let's see what's going on for Virgo. First half of August. All the decks are listed below also. I don't know if I mentioned that, but they all have been uh, pre-shuffle cut and meditated on off camera. So I just do that off to um, save a little time. But I do a little more shuffling on camera. All right, so, oops. But well, we have two cards that came out here. So we have the Queen of Wands and we have the Nine of Pentacles. So again, Nine of Pentacles, Earth energy, that's your energy here, of Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So this is a single energy, Nine of Pentacles. And I really think here you're trying, really trying to gain your stability. You're try, really trying to balance out your energies here to bring back stability into your life. But you know, Nine of Pentacles is that solid, uh, solid solitude energy. Um, and we have solitude here. And it's very independent. So, again, I feel like you're somebody who is alone. You know? And you may be doing well financially in that aspect. But I feel like for some reason you have a lot on your plate. Whether you have, you're alone, you have kids. Maybe you're working two jobs. Maybe... Your, your kids have all kind of activities also and uh, you know taking care of everything and work maybe working one or two jobs and or maybe even furthering your education also on top of it I mean you could do be doing a bunch of things here maybe having to take care of family members uh, and that sort of thing I don't know where that came out of but you know I think you just have so much going on here but then you have the Queen of Wands so I feel like fire energy so I do feel like, you know, you are a very, you know, being a very fiery, passionate, go-getter, ambitious kind of person who thinks, you know, if you're single and doing a lot that you can handle it, you know, that I am this very fiery, 
uh, passionate go-getter, ambitious person. I can do all this even though I'm single, but deep down inside, you know, you're really got too much on your plate and you're balancing way too much. And it's like, you're on this tightrope, not knowing will it snap? Will I snap finally? Um, you know, so yeah, really need to balance out your energy here. Okay, so let's see what other energy is around you. So we have the four, so, wow, four of swords and the prince of cups. So again, I had said here with the four of swords energy, this reminded me of the four of swords. And here is the four of swords to clarify that. Wow, air energy now. So exactly, so other energy around you is needing to find a truce within yourself with everything you're going through and retreating, going alone, recuperating, resting, thinking, contemplating kind of energy with the Four of Swords, Prince of Cups energy, water energy now. And this is, you know, I think here, like the Prince is the Knight of Cups. So this is an action card. So I think, you know, you love everything that you do. You love everything, everybody around you. You do everything that you do with a loving heart, compassionate heart. Um, I think, you know, you really have that loving energy within you and also that fiery energy. But again, you're, I think you're doing too much and you need to rest, recuperate, regenerate and really figure out here um, if you need to, uh, you know, take a break and really figure out if you need to cut some things out here so that swords are all about cutting away things no longer serving you so you can have better balance in your life so let's see what your actual situation is now virgo so wow the tower the six of cups and the ten of pentacles so you have aries with the tower water again with the six of cups your energy again with the Ten of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So your actual situation is here. I feel like you're fine. Like your finances are fine with the Ten of Pentacles. I, I feel like you're single, even though there's a couple on here. You know, maybe not. Maybe because um, the first card out over here was that nine, which is a single energy. But this could indicate, you know, you have children or whatever. But um, even though it's a couple here, but I really feel like your finances are fine. That's not a problem. You're just doing too much because you have the six of cups here, which could indicate um, children. So you could have chil you know, your children, also family, because this is um, talks about past, past relationships, people you've known since childhood or childhood memories, things of that nature. And then you have a tower moment. So I think your situation is here. You're, you're having this tower moment of, I have way too much on my plate. I'm trying to balance all this crap out. I'm just doing way, way too much. Something needs to end. Something needs to come crumbling down so that, you know, and it may have to do with family, family members, um, you know, realizing here, I need to cut some things out or take, take on less responsibility. And it may have to do with your extended family such as your siblings, your parents, or something like that, or friends you've had since childhood that maybe you help out all the time. You know, it's time to really think about these things of the past, all these long-term relationships, which ones you need to keep, which ones you need to end or take less responsibility in. And I think you'll be more stable here with the Ten of Pentacles energy, because this is a very stable home environment having that wealth, prosperity, no, you know, no worries, you know, you're totally balanced out. So your actual situation is, and you could be going through this right now, is having this realization and tower moment, maybe going in the solitude energy and this, you know, rest recuperating energy and having that boom, that lightning, that tower moment. I really need to think about what things I've been responsible for since my childhood or since um, you know, these long distance relationships need to fall away here. You see them falling away. So I can be more in a stable energy with the Ten of Pentacles. 
All right, so let's see what your advice is, Virgo. The Four of Cups and the Sun. Wow. So we have water energy again. And we have the Sun energy, which is happiness, joy, uh, Leo energy, enlightenment, uh, happiness, joy, success, happy home and family, growth, expansion, um, everything positive with the sun so your advice is for your total happiness joy and victory and success moving forward here is to ignore some of the things around you this is the four of cups energy where you're kind of like just uh, not really accepting anything not really offering anything just kind of ignoring it in a way and uh just like yep yeah, whatever you know nope not going to take on that responsibility anymore somebody you know you know this cup floating around sometimes it's like an offer that you're not seeing but I feel like if people are coming in and saying hey you know can you help me with this can you help me with that you're like ignoring it like nope nope I'm done with that I know for my total happiness and my sanctuary here I need to ignore some of these um, energies that come around that you know just want things for themselves and not really thinking about you and everything that you have on because your hands are full your hands are full here you already got enough you don't need other people coming in with nonsense and bugging you you know it's like no I'm, I'm just done with that now I'm concentrating on me my happy home and family my success my victory having that enlightenment that you know I'm not going to deal with those people that just come around for no reason and take up my time my hands are already full I'm already trying to balance out all this in my life and I don't need this extra responsibility that I don't really need and having that happiness and success and victory so that's your advice you need to cut away some responsibility or people that are not serving you that are just taking your time for no reason and just like wasting all your energy that's with the tower here all right, so let's see what your possible outcome. The Prince of Wands. So this is, you know, uh, fire energy now. So I feel like here it's action card again. So now I'm feeling what I'm getting is now you could concentrate on the things that you really want to concentrate on. Put your energy, um, put your energy, your drive, ambitions, passion, all that kind of energy into things you really want to put your energy into and not things that don't really serve you for your highest good with that energy here and this is all about going after your ambitions and goals and passions and it's with the Saturn energy what is having that security the ten of Pentacles you know maybe a challenge to you know push people away or refuse to take on things you don't really need to take on to maybe a lesson a challenge here but I think you can do it and then you can move forward in the things that are really serving you and have better balance in your life so let's get more clarity king of cups so water energy so feeling feeling like that uh, self-worth self-love you know feeling happy content with you and what you're doing moving forward like new energy like really being in that new self-loving fulfilled energy moving forward death and rebirth exactly so letting things come to an end no longer serving you and having this rebirth the Scorpio energy having that rebirth that transformation that realization I need to end sever ties or cut responsibilities that are no longer serving me so I can have a rebirth a transformation a regeneration a whole new lease on life well these wanted to come out together so four of pentacles and the queen of cups so earth that's your energy water again so we got the king and queen of cups so yeah being totally aligned within yourself and you know still having that loving caring nurturing energy but just only using it towards the things that are only for your highest good and the four of pentacles here is holding on to your stability your foundation your basis 
again, power, taking back your power and taking back your stabil stability into what is only going to serve you and also holding back from energies that are not serving you, no longer giving that energy away to people that aren't serving you. So it's holding on your stability and holding back from people and things, whatever it is for you, that aren't serving you. So you have the king and the queen. It's like total alignment with yourself. All right. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck now. So we have the princess of swords. Exactly. Page of swords. So this is that open, honest communication. You know, cutting away things now, no longer serving you. Telling it like it is. Standing up for yourself for once. Not taking any BS, you know, keeping an eye on things around you. Make sure everything's on the up and up. But taking the sword, lifting it up, and making those cuts and changes as challenging as it may be so you can have that transformation period in your life. Ear energy. Ear energy. Again, so yeah, they may be heartbreak, sorrow. You know, people may be uh, heartbroken and having some sorrow. That's just either severing ties with them or, you know, just cutting something away in the connection here. They will be sadness and hurt and pain and sorrow. But if it has to be done, it has to be done. Ten of Wands. So, yeah, I definitely had that energy, fire energy at the beginning here. Having too much on your plate. Carrying too much. Being totally burdened and oppressed. And ten ending. And I had said here, one and nine, ten, ending. Ending those difficult challenges and learning those lessons and laying down the burdens that aren't serving you anymore. The Hierophant, Taurus. So, you know, this is an energy of, you know, doing faith, spirituality, um, religion, and that sort of thing, uh, following that intuition and that spirituality and also also doing what's moral just and right if you feel like somebody's just taking advantage of you and you feel the right thing to do is to cut that energy away and if you're feeling any doubts or fear that oh it's not right it's not moral it's not just the hierophant here is to tell you it's okay to do that it's okay to cut away things no longer serving you for your highest good it is okay. Seven of Cups. So you may have confusion. Uh, water energy now. So there may be confusion on your part. Uh, what do I do? What, you know, what do I cut away not serving me? What, you know, that kind of energy. Um, I see the cups floating here like, oh, I'm not sure what I should do in this situation, that situation. Having a little bit of that, you know, confusion. But here's your taking cancer, taking energy, uh, cancer energy, taking that, um, taking charge, taking control, moving forward, positive movement forward, balancing out your energies is with the balancing act. I feel like once you cut away and you know what you need to do, you can move forward fearlessly into the things that you are passionate about, as with the Prince of Wands here, and moving forward fearlessly into victory in your life in some way. Ten of Cups, and there it is. Total emotional happiness, fulfillment in every single way. Happy home and family. Exactly. Once you get out of the confusion, take positive movement forward. Having total happiness. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Total alignment with yourself, spiritual awakening. Um, just brand new beginning in a loving space. And a whole new loving outlook on life you'll, you'll feel like you've been rebirthed and no more of the nonsense no longer serving you wow virgo okay so let's see so yep you need to make decisions here you got too much burden too much responsibility whatever that means for you there's a need here to really think about what you need to do what changes you need to make in your life that may be challenging to do that but I think you're going to have to for your own peace of mind, your happiness, your joy, your success, your stability. Moving forward. All right. You may need to spend time alone to think about what you need to do. 
All right, so let's get some guidance messages for you, Virgo, moving forward for the first half of August, Spirit, please. We have one card. One card for Virgo. What is their message? What is their advice? So we have embracing the future. I step into the future with an open heart. Right, so the this is embracing these changes you need to make. Embracing this new future you'll have after you release things that you don't need and you're able to embrace new things in your future that you didn't have time for before. Now you will have time to do the things that you feel passionate about and take that motion and that action forward and stepping through a whole new door of opportunities for you with an open heart. Wow. Embracing the future. Okay. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Accepting what is, I accept and embrace my inner majesty. So that's like really reminds me of the Empress energy here. You know, knowing your self value and worth, your inner majesty, your inner uh, divine, masculine, feminine energy, um, that emperor, empress kind of energy. You know, knowing your inner true self and worth and value and accepting it. And that it's okay, the hierophant energy, to do what's best for you and cut away things no longer serving you so you can have better balance in your life. Virgo, wow. So if this resonated for you, Virgo, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to read the comments. And hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do uh, bi-weekly general and love, so please don't miss out on that. Um, sending you much luck here in your situation. Best of luck to you. Sending you much light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, as with the sun energy here, is to always, always shine your light.